You're right here, and look how the club would naturally go up the plane. And then it would just right in front of you at the top and then right back in front of you on the way through yeah. towards the ball. See what that does to the plane? Watch what happens if I have it up and away. Right, widen so. on the side. Got problems. Never gonna skip a rock from back there. Gotta have it in here. And then I wanna see you work on this feeling here. The right elbow tucking a little bit. When it backs up this way, see how the club stays out there and gets a little steep? I wanna see you keep the, keep the funny bone pointed down towards the golf ball. That's a feeling that a lot of our guys really like the feeling of, okay? And that will get the club going up the plane. Back of the left, underneath the right, a lot of our viewers might have seen this before. Um, if not, it's an awesome one. Check this out. Kev, go right down the line from us. Back of the left hand or the lead hand, right underneath the back of the elbow, you're pulling this elbow in towards the center of your body. That's the funny bone right here staying pointed towards the golf ball. It keeps this elbow in front of the body center, right? So watch, buddy. Mm -hmm. You're right here, and look how the club would naturally go up the plane. And then it would just right in front of you at the top and then right back in front of you on the way through. Yeah. Keep that pressure right to your elbow as you go back. Put it right here and push. Yeah, and then keep it, keep this one rotated in. Don't, don't have it like this. Yeah, there you go, that was way better, look at that. Do you feel that? Yeah. So what does it feel like? Kind of like you're shaking hands mm -hmm. or... With someone behind you. With someone behind you or that funny bone's pointed down towards the ball. Way better right there. That was awesome right there. I, li I like this analogy a lot. If I'm a hitchhiker on the side of the road, right, and I have my funny bone pointed towards the ball, see what that does to the plane? Watch what happens if I have it up and away. Right, so if it gets here, bud, that's where we're at right now. And then it gets up this way, and then you have to work it back in front of you. That's not what we're looking for. We wanna see it just be more natural up the plane, and that comes from having this arm rotated the right way as you swing. We call it widen on the side. When this elbow gets widen on the side, got problems. Never gonna skip a rock from back there. Gotta have it in here. So we like our golfers to have that preset at the address position, elbows pulled in more with the forearms to the sky. We like to feel like, it's give, like we're giving blood, but at the same time, in a way where we can take a pretty neutral grip, right? You don't want to get underneath like this, get the right grip. But when we have our right arm in the right spot, and he knows this, we've talked about this, but I want to give him the recap and our viewer the recap. It's going to help the natural plane of the golf swing to work back the way it needs to with the hands also staying in front of the body. So the way that this trail arm works, buddy, is so important to the swing because what it does is when it's in the right position, it not only keeps the hands in front of our center, it keeps the club working up the proper plane. So you have a good hand path, good swing plane, which are two things I want you to know, which if you do them right, puts you in a position at the top. After the good setup that you now have, all you have to do is simply rotate right back through, right? Keep it simple. You know, it sounds like a lot, but this guy can handle it. You just gotta get one feeling in the beginning, this one feeling here. Get it good to the set position, and then it's just a simple turn, and then right back through. All right, bud, put two hands on there and let's make it happen. Show me something good, Luke. There we go. If Luke does this right, he'll turn to the top and he's gonna maintain more of this distance between the center of the body and his hands, the width as he turns, more of that. You'll see his hands more out this way. You know, when he gets the elbow behind him, his arms will disappear back behind his body like that, behind his head. So, you know, from the, from the face on view, the better he gets at keeping his elbow more in front of his chest, his arms will be a little bit wider and more out in front of his body from this angle here. Boom. You can see how they stay right in front of me. Okay. Oh, dude, that was so good right there. What a great swing that was. Yeah. I Felt love different. it. Way better. What was, what was different about it? Tell us. Um, I just felt like on the downswing, I was more kind of in the slot rather than um, going from back Explain here. that to the camera, what oh, you mean by that. So in the slot, basically, you're up here. All you need to do is just 
you just go like this in the slot. You just turn your hips and then go so, so straight. Wait, do you feel like you feel like the position that you get into with your arms and hands, right? You just drive that right in front of you, right? Is exactly. that what you're saying? Yeah. So I don't have to manipulate manipulate my yeah. hands on the downswing, so it doesn't go. Into... So he's basically saying that he's driving the back of his left hand like there's a hammer right here at the end of the club right into the nail that nail would probably be right into a wall yeah do that again would be right into a wall right here and he's just driving the hammer into that wall and, and that's uh that's what's getting that club from this position right into the slot and you'll watch this i mean you're setting the club ideally setting it the set position is a set position the arm structure and everything doesn't change you just turn right to the top and you're right back down and you're right through impact and that's that's what these guys are trying to learn, keeping it simple. Setting the club, turning it to the top, and driving it through impact. How good is that, huh? That was very good. I mean, just so our viewer knows, by the way, that's like an eight iron that 11 year old's hitting like 160, 165 right there. I mean, it's ridiculous. Look, look at dad back here, look at dad. There's dad back here. Oh, you gotta keep going. Dad, dad was back there, <laughs> going like this. <laughs> like 50 yards back there grinding. Here we go, here we go. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, just get a little. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, it's so funny. Boy, when he we gets love this going, guy. oh my gosh, it makes an unbelievable sound. So Kev, I want you to get in some real close shots on him for impact yeah. and get the mics checked, okay? Yeah.